You know, we never leave our pick. Natural Hair Girls, we never leave our pick. Hi beauties and coals, welcome back with another video. It is another Maintenance Monday, yes. So I want to take you through how I trim my hair. I thought that this would be a good video to do. I've already done the trim, but we are going to go straight into the video and let you see how I actually prepare for a hair trim. Let me know how you all are trimming your hair. Do you dust? Which means do you do like a search and destroy? Do you just dust a little bit and take the ends off? And then how often? I would like to know that and kind of like what your routine is. Leave it down below and I'll see you in the next Maintenance Monday. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Okay, so some of this I'm going to say while I'm actually doing it. The first thing that I start to feel is for roughness and a difference in the smoothness of the cuticle. So once I start feeling that it's kind of rough, that's where I stop my finger. So I feel smoothness up until about here and it's starting to feel really rough. So then I start to look for single strand knots there's a big one right there so stringles single strand knots and split ends so i see a lot of them right here so then i take my scissors and i kind of straighten some of the strands out just so i can make sure that I'm catching some of the okay so see like this one has a split in and a single strand knot so I will go in single and snip that off that's kind of called search and destroy but really what I'm doing is not only giving my hair um, a trim but I am specifically doing it's called dusting Okay, there's another split in. Now, I'm not telling you to do this on your, you know, on your own. I just kind of look at kind of like the way that my hairstylist has done mine. Let me trim that off. You can already tell how it's looking. And then I'm going to take one last look just to make sure I look at the ends. Like I see a split end. Where did I see it? And I'm not going to show you the whole entire, I'm not going to do my whole entire head on camera. Just trying to make sure I've gotten all of okay that looks good and so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna do a soft twist and I actually use this to kind of hold it in place so you I know that I've been to that that area and I won't revisit it because I 
you know, you can get scissor happy real quick. So what I'm doing is dividing the hair and I'm gonna divide it. I always like going under because that part is hard to find. Now, this is the time where I need a comb. So let me, I'll be right back. So I'm actually going to part my hair. Snap this away. Some people go all the way through the back. I want to just show you a side, like all the way across. I can get them better on the side. A hairstylist could probably get it like going across the back, but I actually have to split mine in half and this is the easiest way for me to look. So again, I'm gonna feel it where it starts to get rough. It starts to get rough here but then I start looking at the ends. And sometimes you need to rotate the hair, pull it out. Like I see some, I only see a lot of split, split ends on this one. See some strangle, single strand knots. And I'm just gonna let you know I am trimming off a little bit more than usual. I think that's the difference between dusting and and trimming. Trimming is that you're taking a portion of the hair no matter what and you're kind of trimming it to the same length. Yeah, this one has some single strand knots right there. This off. So I wanted to show you guys the last part of this trim because I finished everything else but I'm a, I wanted to talk about the condition of my hair. I noticed that the least amount of damage was at the top and the crown part which my hair is the most coarse in that area. It's probably like a 4A. Uh, no, it's a loose curl but it's actually a little bit coarser, a little bit thicker. It's not really a, a hair like type as you would say it um i mean the curl pattern is actually a little bit tighter around this area but it's it's the thickness and the density of the hair that i think allows it to be a lot more stronger i had more split ends string, single strands not knots and single strand knots towards the ends of the back of my hair and it makes sense because a lot of times um a lot of times cotton and what have you rub against your hair um this is probably the rougher part of my hair and this was kind of like in the middle so i just want to finish this up and show you guys um how i'm you know finishing it up and trimming my hair now if it did not need a trim i did not trim as much but i did do a small trim just because i don't know if you guys have ever trimmed your hair but even the way my hair curls or even the way the curls look I wanted them to be a bit uniformed even when I'm twisting my hair I can tell the way that I twist my hair I can kind of tell if I need it now I know a lot of people that do twist their hair and then trim their hair but I didn't want to do that today um I think that's an easy way to kind of see some uniformity i said i checked for the smoothness this one is pretty smooth till i get about here and then it got, goes kind of crazy and i do see a lot of split ends on this one i had a lot of single strand knots in the back let me take it down just so you see about how much i see my hair is already twisting i i love it so I am gonna do a twist out on, or yeah, I'm gonna do a twist out on bl a blown out hair. And really my hair loves when it is in its blown out state. And you can see that the curl, I only put that in, in a few, for a few minutes, you guys. But this is how my hair is looking.
Okay, so that is how I trim my hair for this hair growth channel challenge. I will link everything that I use down below, but my hair feels so much better now. I'm, I'm glad that I didn't big chop and get all emotional and do something that I probably would have regretted. But yeah, I do feel better and giving myself a trim and I did not lose a lot of hair. I'm looking at the floor and it's not a lot of hair at all. So yeah, I'm about to twist my hair. Um, I will end this video with twisting my hair just so you guys can see how I do two twists in my hair because I'm about to film another video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you hadn't already and I will see you back with another video. Bye ladies.